Hi, welcome guys. This is an installation video. So May 2021, we've rearranged our ISOs and we've created also a new one. So Arclix XL, Arclix XS, X as is explained in the infographic in here to show you what it's all about, but that's in another video. And um, you can also read it in here, start here, the Arclix edition has been changed already. So XL, extra large, XS, extra small flagship ship you check it out the video is an installation video where do we get our isos we go to downloads and we go preferably we go to sourceforge which does not cost us any um, bandwidth or we go to uh, belnet which does not cost any bandwidth either well it does because it syncs with our seat host at this point in time, we're one week ahead of schedule, which means in Arcalix world, we give you the ISO. The world has the ISO. Where is it then? It is in the FTP belnet.be Arcalix ISO. No, not ISO. One level up. It's in AAG. That's where it is. You can also delete AAG if you want to. And then you see the structure of the maps, right? All of these are our repos, that's not interesting. Here are the ISOs and here are the ISOs, AAG. So today, 1st of May, one week before release, they're here. Otherwise, it's always empty, this folder. Okay, so if you want to join me in installing, then you get this ISO from here. I've done that already. I have set everything up. Arclix XL is here, and we're going to go over the elements that are new because we need to update this article and this article is the one where you start always start here every website has a start here please send people to it because it says something about your system it helps them to know what steps do i need to get linux working on my system it's all in there bias ufi motherboards all the settings and this video that i'm going to make is going to be in here how do I install Arclinux XL? Off we go. Arclinux XL, it's loaded, it's in here, and we just boot it up. Make sure a Control F is in place there, and then immediately have to teach you something. This is new. We have here lines to choose from. 95% will be just fine with the first line. But some of us have an NVIDIA card, an NVIDIA card that's not recognized by any of the drivers except the NVIDIA package, the pseudo Pacman minus S NVIDIA. That's what it needs. So if you're in that case that you say it never works, oh, always problem, maybe you need this line, NVIDIA line, right? So it's a choice here. This is now bias. UFI has just exactly the same thing. And we've managed to have a way, we found a way to put NVIDIA on your ISO and boot up with it because that was basically the problem for those guys that if the kernel does not get it, what hardware it is, it's a black screen, nothing happens. So there will be safe, they would be safe, they should be safe <laughs> with that line. All the rest, just go for open source drivers, right? So basically what I'm saying is take the first line, doesn't work for you. Take the second line, doesn't work for you. Third, take the third line and well, get help. If none of these work, ask us. Because I always explain this place can be edited. A tap and I can start typing. Hello. I am Eric. You have to watch out for the QWERTY Azerty thing, but I can type, I can add technical things to this, right? Up there it says, a few lines up, it says Nouveau mode set zero. Driver is free, no mode set, etc. So you can add things and make the zero the false to true one and such things and add more stuff to it so it's the kernel actually can boot up from your hardware but hopefully that's not necessary all right so off i go i am on virtualbox no need of nvidia 
so I'm gonna go for an open source driver by the by uh, VMware is now again in order as well we just eliminated the script to make um, the, the resolution in my case 1920 on 1080 full screen so that's entirely still up to you to figure it out desktop or desktop but at least our script is not there anymore to block it the boot up sequence I mean so we boot up and maybe you've seen it in the lines but there, there are a few seconds there of solidarity Nvidia is now removed so it takes a few seconds to actually boot up and not have Nvidia the other guys that took line number two will see Nvidia there when they type in the menu Nvidia they'll have the icon they have the application it will be used the driver is used and then they can continue their installation you know the drill, Arcan Lake's Calamaris tool, maybe I should be fully and completely, if you download the system. It has, it's pointing to a server somewhere on the world, depending where you live. Let's give me my keyboard. <laughs> so, where is he getting the packages? He's getting the packages from mirrorosbeck.com. Normally, trust us, that's good. If not, you say, oh my God, this is slow in downloading. Then you know you need to update the Arch Linux mirrors. So that's the button to upload, to, to update. Not anything from us. It says Arch Linux mirrors. And maybe you've seen in the articles, we are 93% Arch Linux. I did another calculations yesterday. So if you want to clean up things, then there is Gpart. This is the way to take a look at your hard drive and say, okay, what have I installed on this machine? What this hard disk and the drop down is here if you have several hard disks. Okay, entirely up to you. Then there is the choice. What do we want? Do we want to format it as BTRFS or XFS, JFS, Riser, X4? If you don't do anything, it's standard X4, right? So if you don't do don't do a safe, it still is asked for. All right, run Calamaris. Finally, we're there. Do of course have a look at all the other buttons, but you can click them if you want. Oh, as a quick look, this will always change. Calamaris is a great tool to put any of our Linux systems out there on our system, and the version and the possibilities will increase will improve and all that you choose your language i always go for american english next you choose the kernel remember that an iso is also a frozen moment in time it took the packages of that day which day ctrl alt iso on april the 26th nine o'clock in the morning we built the iso at that moment in time, we got these packages in, these versions in. It's a frozen moment in time. And what you see is what you will get. I can do some minor adjustments in Calamaris, but what you see is generally what you get. Okay? So all these applications you're looking at are on our system. This is the XL version. And all the packages we you see here, Inkscape, Inkscape, I use it, Nomax, I use it, GIMP, I use it, and so on. I always use any of these guys. So what you see is what you get. Okay, cool. But if you click this, and it's now the end of 2021, right? This is now May. So let's say it's December. You'll get the Linux kernel from December. It will be downloaded and installed on your future system. So that's why these options are here to get the latest version from the net. Or if you know already, I have issues with the Linux kernel. I have an older machine. I need Linux LTS, the long-term support. Then you use this one. 
it's all about choices and we just provide the tools here are the tools you select it if you need it next now i have been talking about nvidia right the guys who need nvidia should boot up in bias or ufi with an nvidia but even if they forgot to do that you still have the option here to go for nvidia to install it on your future system or nvidia lts if that's what you needed and not the nvidia one so again choices possibilities these guys are all installed on your system that's another choice we've made these guys are already installed what you see is what you get right you can always check that out pseudo pacman minus sy let's first get the databases in and then pseudo pacman minus remove these guys are on the iso in the hopes that you boot up and have no issues but even so you can in december 2021 get the latest intel driver if there is one right well i don't know we'll see december 2021 but we have a choice to actually get the latest linux the latest nvidia the latest uh, drivers and then off we go again normally right this is sdm we've made the choice you know that we've made the choice so there is no choice there is you can install more themes like this one is a beautiful blue one and say okay sdm is by default but there's so much nice themes and this is my team i love this team install it you can also switch and go for lightm but it's not going to be the lightm of arclix it's going to be the standard one we're really going all the way to sdm and you'll see these themes grow over time we'll add more if we find more that we like we say oh i like this one it's going to be on there next this is new in the sense that we give you the choice to install from Calamaris all the desktops we have and XFCE is already installed this is XFCE but these guys are the ones we don't like we don't like XFCE for artwork we don't like burning DVDs it's not done anymore USBs right Parole not really our thing Orage mm -mm. mousepad uh -uh. right but if you want it we give you the choice to install it anyway plus all the combinations why not have an Arcanix XL with all the software I have one and a half and combine it with i3 simple as that and you can make it even um, well more personal in the sense that Polybar I will never use it don't want to install Polybar and so on so it's just a click away to even make it more personal and that's again what's central in our clinics we give you the freedom to choose I can now combine an Arclinix XL with all the software XFC together with why not Qtile boom select it as long as you've got internet of course everything will be downloaded and installed and you've got it and this is the software bit but the software bit we've seen that in the past but you check it out anyway and some of these guys collide like these guys eh? conflicts with still conflicts with fresh it's either this one or that one not both will not crash calamars will just keep running but it will not install two of them just one of them there's so much more there's a big a chunk of fonts so I've made it uh, clear in some of the, of the latest videos that having a different font is actually changing your operating system profoundly and it really is about your eyesight your what you perceive as a good font is very personal so give it a try just change your font and see if you like it and these are the software that we use to develop it these days 
much of it is already on our ISO. There's just this little guy to make screenshots. And that's it basically. We're going, we're almost done. Um, we just select where do we live. If the geo IP does not find it, means that the server is, is down. That's all it is. You change anything you like. If you don't want to change, uh, have these things. For me, the important thing is this thing. <laughs> not to forget that I'm living in Belgium with a keyboard that's not QWERTY and ACERTY. So you can type here to test. And then off we go. Next. Almost there. I'm still X4, right? I did not change anything. I did not go for PTRFS or anything. I just said close, not save. So standard, it's X4 if you do not click anything in the Kamaras tool. Four options down here. 16 gigabyte of RAM. You don't need swap, right? Swap, no hibernate. Swap with hibernate. Swap to file. You can change the file size and make it as big as you want. And that's not a part, these are two partitions and this is, well, you see it here visually. There is no partition. And this has a partition, a big one. Always 10% more than your um, memory, 8.4. And this is a smaller one. All right, off I go because it's almost done. The video is at an end because this is just typing in passwords, names, deciding if you want to log in automatically without asking for a password, use the same password for the administrator account or not. Okay, don't make it more difficult than it needs to be. And then you have this overview. We're going to create this and that and a boot X4, SDA one and X4. Cool. Then we say install and off it goes. And then it's just waiting time, everything to install and uh, you go and have a, a drink and come back and everything will be installed. Think about what did I select? Oh, I selected like 10 desktops. Well, don't think it will be installed in five minutes, right? It will take the time to download it. Oh, but I have a slow internet. Then you'll have to wait longer. Then it needs to be installed, but I have a slow computer. Then it will take longer. It's always about bandwidth, CPU, the power you have. So be patient while it does its thing. Because this, what you see now, is this. It unpacks everything. The what you see is what you get. This is now being unpacked to your system. The whole system. And then later on in the phase here, it will decide, oh, look, they decided to install a theme from SDM and Qtile and BSPWM and so on and so on. It needs to download it. It needs to install it. Just be patient. That's all we ask. All right. Not going to wait for this to end, um, but do enjoy Articlinux XL. So if you, if we ask you um, what ISO are you on? It's important to share that with us so we know what, uh, well, we know how everything is built up, what the pieces of the puzzle, right? The Lego blocks. And we can start thinking, why is this happening on the PC? And that's why we ask, is it an article X, XL, XS, a D or a B? All right, have fun guys.